Okay, so today we got this uh, Donner electric drum set. It's, it says DED200 on the box, but I bought it as a DED200 Pro on Amazon.ca. But on, on Amazon.com, the US site, it's called the DED200X. And I think the only difference between the regular DED200 and, and these ones, the X or the Pro, is it has an extra symbol. I can't find anything else that's different about it. I think that's the only thing that uh, makes it either the X or the Pro, is it has one extra symbol. So anyways, I'm gonna open it up and put it together here in my paint booth. So we got the manual. Let's see what this card is. I think this card is to uh, get music lessons on it. I've never played the drums before, so I bought this set to learn. Um, the reviews look fairly good on it, and uh, this is the one I chose to begin with. I'll probably buy, after doing more reviews and stuff, I'll, I'll probably buy the Titan 70 next, but I'll probably give this one a few months. So I'm going to put everything out of the box. This is the module. Pull the plastic off here. It's got, uh, well, it doesn't even say here on here what, which is the input or the output. Oh, it's right here. Nine volt USB MIDI crash two. This is a mono or mono, it says mono output, but then it says left and right, auxiliary in and headphones. So I'll set this down. This is a drum pad. There's, looks like there's two in here. So that's what's in there. These are eight inch. I'll leave these in the box so I don't lose track of what there is. Let's see. For the sun, we so put that back in there. Okay. 
there is some accessories. Okay, this is cables. These look like the cables you get with a guitar. Big stereo jacks. Some Velcro ties here. Lots of cables. Okay, so comes with that wrench. This is the 9 volts adapter. And there's more cables here. These ones are color coded. So snare. Crash. Tom. Ride. Tom 2. I have kick and Tom three. Single mount. The drum stool. This is the stool bracket on the surface so I'll leave these for the end. I'll put that together last. Three, three symbols. This is rubber. This is plastic. This is metal. And it's got notched, notched adjustments here. So it should hold position pretty good. So, brushed aluminum. It feels fairly heavy duty. It's steel. This is steel. Rubber pads. When I put it in my house, I'm actually going to probably pull these out. I'll probably screw these pedals right to the floor so they don't move once I know where I want to put them. But they have these little things so you could probably set it so it doesn't skid forward. But I'd rather just screw it right in the floor 
so it doesn't move at all. But that looks, it's fairly heavy duty feeling, it doesn't feel cheap. Here's the snare and the pump. Okay, this is the kick belt. Headphones. These are... Uh, they kind of feel cheap. You've got a little cable. They don't look like they'd be too really very good. But at least they're here, so I can try them. I have probably have a better headphone set to use than these ones. But I'll try these ones when I first try it. So this looks like it needs some assembly. <coughs> Let's put those in here. And I'll set this down. We'll see. This looks like it's the base, or this is the Crash rise. Okay. This is a crash. It's rubber too, with plastic. And then this stuff is the, the mount, the drum stand. And that's everything. I'll get rid of this box. This is probably what we'll need first.
can be their label. So I'm going to keep them in the bag so I know which, what goes where. Got eight. This is G. Here's the drumsticks. This is D. Okay, so that's everything from the big block. Now, I'm going to quickly look at the instructions. So I'll pause the video while I'm doing that, and then I'll assemble it. Okay, so A, this is A, this is B, and this is E. They go together. And there's these notches here on E. They have to go up and down. There's a little notch up here. So they go in there and they fit into that notch. And it should fit into the notch back here too. And it's not twisting, so it's in the notch. And this is supposed to be as high as it goes. right there. I'll tighten this down. This is the little wrench to give you. I won't put it too tight. I had to loosen these. These ones here, these ones here. So I could loosen this because this wouldn't go in at first. So there's that together. Now I gotta put um, C and F on this side under these cross here to the second one. So I gotta find C and F. I'll just pause it while I get them ready. Okay, so this is C, this is F. And it had the notch at the top again here, and there's a notch, this, this notch here, and the one on the bottom. It's got to go up and down, and it lines into a, a slot back here. You can tell when it's in there because it won't twist, so that's in there now. And then you want these to go to the back. With these down. And that'll stand up, so that'll be a little easier. Okay, so then the next is uh, G and D. So I've been having to loosen all these clamps. They're, they're, uh, they come too tight, so you gotta loosen them all before you can assemble them. But I'm gonna tighten. I'll tighten these as I go so I don't forget later. You don't need them super tight because it's just plastic, so just finger tight will be enough to hold it together. Okay, so now I'll pause it, I'll loosen all the clamps on. on the, G and D, and get it ready. Okay, so here, this is G. It's got the notches. These go up or down. You want this at the back. So you want that to be at the back, and you want this at the bottom. 
And uh, this one here is D. So you stick these in here. The notch is in, so I'll tighten it. And then put it in there. Okay, the notch is in. Maybe it's not. That's not straight. Maybe the notch didn't go in here. Oh, it's, it's crooked for some reason. Maybe they didn't cut the notch right. Hmm, strange. See, I'm gonna look at how these notches are cut. Yeah, actually, if you look at the, the notches are cut. I might have to take my grinder and grind one a little bit. It's not, it's not cut straight. So I might have to modify it a little bit here because it sits crooked. If you look at the bottom, it's not sitting flat. So and modify the, the knot. But for now, I'm just gonna pull it out. And I'll tighten it with a knot in the notch. That's just <clears throat> Chinese machining. Like you want you want this to be facing the inside here and then yeah so these parts you know this one they've all been so far they've been all too tight so it's not the notch I don't know if you can work out in the picture like it's about right there. So you want this to be towards the inside? That shows in the picture. I'll just take this to the back for now. Okay, so now, now I'll pause the video. I'm gonna I'm gonna trim the that pipe so that it fits in the notch properly. Um, I'm not sure if every kit comes like that, but it's a bad stamp. It looks like they stamped these notches on 
They just did a crooked on that one. But I'm going to grind that one and then I'm going to uh, look at the instructions going forward here and then I'll turn the video back on. Okay, for this section, all these parts came out of the symbol mount box. It's empty. Okay, so I trimmed, I trimmed this. I put the, I made the notches bigger. Um, I had to go, I had to trim off this side here and this side here to get it to sit flat. And if you have the four symbols or the extra symbol, you have to add this mount under this part. It came in the in the box, so this has to go on here. Now I can put this in here and tighten it. But now this sits flat and it's it's in the notch, but now it can move a little bit. But it's all the way in there, so once you tighten it, it won't move. Okay, so this part was here for the symbol. These bars, there's four of these. This one goes here. Here. Yeah, this one was here. The controller, it goes here. These bars here, there's four. One goes here.
Okay, so now I'll pause and see where the rest of the stuff goes. But that's it for the mounting. Now there's just like the foot pedals and the drums. So I'll see which one goes where. Okay, so here's the hi-hat. It says hi-hat on the back. It goes up here. And then it's got these felt covered nuts. All right, so I don't know how tight to put it yet, but I'll just put it finger tight and it will look snug. I don't know about the placement where everything should be yet. And these are all marked as crash ride, so all three are the same. Right. Now that the tongs ready and stuff, I'll just pause this for a second. Okay, so these are all the exact same. I figure they just trigger. It's going to depend on which wire you plug in to get the sound. So you just put all four of these on, and then it's the wiring that matters to get the right sounds. That's what I figure, anyways. It doesn't really say in the instructions, but. They're all the exact same, all four look exactly the same. Okay, now I'm going to put together the foot pedal. Okay, so I did find a difference. Um, this one has this rubber rim around it, and these other three don't. 
So this one goes here with the rubber ring. And these three without it go up here. Okay, to put this foot pedal together, you just have to, uh, you take these bars here, and then there's holes right here and right here. You just squeeze it together and stick them like that. And then this here, this bracket right here, fits into the, fits in right here. And this clamps this clamps down on it. Uh, you got it on the ground, so. And then this, as far as I can tell, this is the side that's supposed to hit the drum. From everything I've seen online, I know some people put it together like with the felt hitting it, but they always seem to have problems if they put it that way. So I'm gonna put it so the drum hits on this side. And you have to use your key to lock it in. So I'll just take this stuff up and start the video again. Okay, so the stool is pretty easy to put together. It comes like this, folded. So you just open it up, slide this down. Tighten this here, and then on this one you put this little notch up, and you can adjust the height by picking the hole. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, so this is where the bolt came. So you just make sure this washer stays on the outside, and it just falls into place there. Tighten up the wing nut. And then you just put this on top and tighten it on that little notch. And now that is done. So now all that's left is the uh, wiring. So I'm just gonna quickly look at where everything goes and then I'll put it together on video. Okay, so this plug here, plugs into the back of the control module and the rest here are marked so the shortest one goes to the hi-hat it's white that one goes there this plugs in right here on the back and then you gotta screw it tight It's uh, looks like it's marked black. Something to come around here. There is a there's a bunch of Velcro to tie these up after. Try not to tangle these. Okay, orange goes to the top of one. So that's right, right here. And yellow. 
to a snare. I don't know, there's like a little line, I don't know if that means one or... Okay, it's on two. It's purple. Right here. This one's right. This is hi hat control. So I think this one's kick. This one is snare and crash. Okay, so I think I figured this out here. The, the blue one goes to the hi-hat control to this pedal. This crash goes here. Snare. Where's this one? Uh. The right, okay. The right goes here. And this is like a, it's a light, a light blue, almost a green. And then snare, I can go right here. Let me plug this. is the kick. I'm going to plug the right here. Now, if you have this extra symbol, you take one of these patch cords here, And it goes to the back of the controller. To the crest two trigger. And now I'm not gonna tie these wires a bit because I'm actually gonna move this to the house. I'm just gonna make a spot for it. Now we can plug it in and see if it works. Hopefully it works. It would be quite a thing to box back up and ship back. So I wouldn't want to do that. No, I don't want to play drums, so I got the set to learn. Just gonna turn it on. Okay. So I'm just gonna see if everything makes a sound. Let's see. Where's the volume?
Put her in the summer. I'm just going to check this plug on the back of the unit and see if it is plugged in properly. Okay, so everything does seem to be working. Um, you have to have the headset on to hear it, and it sounds really good. Um, it sounds like real drums when I'm hitting it. Um, but I thought there was an external speaker. Like, I never actually did see a speaker, so it looks like you have to use the headset, or else maybe you have to buy an external speaker to hear it without headphones but it's definitely working with the headphones so I can't really show you on video what it sounds like because I don't have uh, drum speakers I thought I just assumed that this had like a small speaker or something you could hear it but it looks like it doesn't you just have to use the headset I know Amazon sells drum speakers so Maybe if I don't want to use the headset, I still have to buy a speaker for it. But I'll look online. There is no speaker that I can see. There's no speaker on that control unit, and there's no speaker in any of the boxes. So it looks like you have to use the headset the way it comes out of the box, which isn't terrible. I just assumed that it had some sort of small speaker just from watching other people's videos. But it doesn't look like it does. It looks like you have to use the headset. So anyways, I'm going to look that up and figure it out. But um, when I put the headset on and hit everything, and it sounded like drums. So but it was actually pretty impressive sounding in the headset. So that's how you put together, assemble uh, the Donner uh, DED200X or... In Canada, it's the 200 Pro on Amazon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe and like the video if you did. Thanks.